This could be a volatile week ahead for stocks as the Federal Reserve meets and how to get a dozen free donuts today. Jane King is in the NASDAQ market side with those stories and more. Good morning, Jane. Good morning. The much ballyhooed meeting of the Federal Reserve is finally here. Almost. It happens Tuesday and Wednesday this week. But the outcome of that meeting is still very much a mystery. Most economists don't believe any interest rate hike will come from the meeting as the election is too close and the economy is still too shaky. Well, campus bookstores becoming more rare. In places where Amazon has created relationships with universities, students can purchase textbooks through college-specific Amazon pages and then have them delivered directly to their rooms. Now, the New York Times says in the campus store where the textbooks used to be, there are now adult coloring books, racks of university branded spirit wear, and narrow bookshelves displaying assorted novels. The Chronicle of Higher Education says schools that team with Amazon receive about 2% of sales from the web retailer. Well, after all the ups and downs of last week, we ended up closing about where we started. The big deal this week, as I mentioned, the Federal Reserve meeting. Now, we did see the Dow back on Friday, and the NASDAQ actually down by 5%. We were lower across the board. The Dow was down about 88 points. Well, Krispy Kreme giving away free donuts today if you just talk like a pirate. You get a whole dozen if you dress like one. Now, it's all in honor of Talk Like a Pirate Day. This year, though, you can use Krispy Kreme Snapchat Pirate Filter to digitally dress like a pirate and get the free dozen as well. And, of course, Olive Garden's unlimited pasta passes are on eBay. And as of last night, most were going for $300 to $400. I did see a couple bidding around $800. And one was in Inexplicably going for $4,200. Well, Olive Garden sold out of 21,000 passes during the just a second last week. From the NASDAQ market site in Times Square, I'm Jane King with your morning business report.